And now, coming from the bottom of a bargain bin, in good old Woolworths, it's the Carlisle Cult Cinema Club with our latest offering. It's Game Over, man! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, PD, back with another Carlisle Cult Cinema Cast. And um, we're scraping the battle. We're at the bottom of the Woolies Bargain Bin here. Um, as you heard, Game Over Man is the title. And the last one we looked at some of the best comic book movies. Video uh, game video movies. Video game movies, sorry. It's all right. There we go. Um, and this time we're looking at, you know, the 199 <laughs> Bargain Bin <laughs> worst of video game movie adaptations. Um and some of them that we've picked, are, even though the bad, there's a charm to them. Yeah. And some of them are just outright atrocious. <laughs> I, I don't. I think you'll see. There'll be. I think it's going to be a bit half and half. We don't. We don't do many things like this where no, we films off. No, we don't at all. But this is. Um, this is. This is just the the, the bill that's yeah. needs to be fitted. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm pleased um, two of mine are more of the the light-hearted and more enjoyable of tone <laughs> and understandable. Yeah. <laughs> yes, some of the ones you've picked, it's just like, what's going on here? What the? What? We'll get to that. But we'll get to that, <laughs> so we won't. Um, so, yeah, we've picked the, um, I think folk will be, oh, the, you'll all have your own ideas of what the worst computer game adaptations into movie there's a lot of shit yeah there is oh, yeah. there's a lot of shit there's most, most of shit most <laughs> yeah. of shit there's only there's only a small yeah. percentage which we covered mostly yeah. last week yeah, yeah. you know we struggled last... to do any more than what we did last week <laughs> for good ones <laughs> yeah oh that's so true you know I mean there's so many we could have covered like House of the Dead yeah <laughs> But there is one in there from that director, but House of the Dead is... Uh, there is. There oh, is one in my yeah. director. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And you, you'll know who we're talking about. Um, Ooh Ball. Yeah. Um, Ooh Ball. Ooh Ball. Ooh Ball, I think. Ooh Ball, is it? Yeah. Ooh um, Ball. Oh, he's made some absolute stinking adaptations. Absolutely, but we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, so we'll kick off with... My first one from um, 1993. It's uh, adventure, fantasy, shit pile, but fun as well. I love it. Yeah, I don't mind it to be honest. Um, and I've got it on Blu ray, and this was the first time I, I haven't watched my Blu ray yet. Um, well, until I watched it, and it's the first time I've watched it since it first came out. It's loads of fun. And it's, do you know something, I enjoyed it a little bit back then, but this time round I enjoyed it even more, and it's Super Mario Brothers, oh, 1993, yeah. the first movie adaptation of a, co of a computer game. Is that Is right? It, was it the first one? Yeah. Bloody hell. Live action. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. There'd been, like, yeah. cartoon ones, like, a Pac-Man Christmas and all that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, but you can't include mm. that. But in live action, Super yeah. Mario Brothers 1993... Not like the games. ...was the first <laughs> one. I mean, we've picked some of the first adaptations that were made... Yeah. ...are getting talked about here. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? Mm. And Super Mario Brothers was an absolute critical failure. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Box office flop. Yeah. Um, but looking back at it, when you actually look at it, it's got some fantastic special effects. For the day, absolutely. So for, 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 for that back then, it's got John Leguizamo, like yes, fulfilling yes. the Latino um, portion of the film that's needed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's needed in an Italian family <laughs> yeah. from a Japanese game. <laughs> from a Japanese game. <laughs> and, Bob, and Bob Hoskins, Bob Hoskins obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously the, 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 the Cockney. Yeah. I'm fucking Mario. <laughs> and I, see that fucking King Cooper? I've shit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you get it? that, if you get that quote, then um, and know. then he, and then he does the thumbs up with the gas. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I can't remember that. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Remember but yeah, you've got... He, he, he advertised gas, he did, didn't he? Didn't he? Oh, yes, yeah, Stardia. And he, and he, he did his thumbs up and yeah. a little flame come up. Like, he was like that like, human torch man back in the yeah. day. Back in the day, Bob Hoskins. Yeah, Bob Hoskins. Um, John um, Legazimo, um, directed by Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel, who'd also done Max Hedrom. Oh, right. Um, DOA remake with Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. Plus a shitload of music videos. Ah, a lot of them do, don't they? Um, and they've not really done anything since. Right. right. It kind of fucked the career. But I'll get mm. to that as we go into the... Um, yeah. this, this short little tale of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, um, all right, okay. Um, Try to tell my story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, written by Parker Bennett, Terry Run, Ed Solomon, amongst others who had bashes at the script and bits mm. were used. Um, some of them originally were very game-like mm. and some of them weren't. And this one wasn't. <laughs> um, and it was... The Investor Pictures released it, I think via their Hollywood pictures, and it was an indie film. Um, mm. Roland Joffe was the producer on it and he went to Nintendo and asked for the, the rights to Mario... Right. And um, they said I, and it was just a complete. They just wanted to see what would happen. Yeah, they, they were an independent, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a crazy little film. It is. So you've got the Mario Brothers, <laughs> um, and they go. They embark on a dangerous quest to rescue Princess Daisy, <laughs> played by Samantha Mathis. And she's great. She was always a great yeah. actress, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly known for Pump Up the Volume. Mm. Love that film. Happy Harry Har Happy ha Harry 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 yeah. That gets de-evolved into a fucking dinosaur at one point. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's weird. Yeah. It's really Dennis, weird. Dennis Hopper's in there, chewing scenery as King Cooper. King Cooper, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Which is weird in itself. Yeah. You know what King Cooper looks like. Exactly. <laughs> um, and Yoshi's in there, played by this little animatronic mini T-Rex looking thing <laughs> nothing like the Yoshi that we know and love <laughs> no um, it's there's pipes everywhere yeah, yeah. the mushrooms are because it's the king and he's been turned into a fungus yeah it's not a mushroom yeah. there's no mushrooms in sight yeah. no no really. it's just one <laughs> it's fung fungal fungus yeah fungus mess. that keeps saving them yeah. now and again yeah. <laughs> yeah. and Luigi's going the fungus is helping us and all this yeah um, it's got some <laughs> half decent music in it now and again you get some decent tracks from the time um, but for me the standouts of the whole thing was um, Fisher Stevens and oh what was his bloody name I've wrote it down are they the duo yeah the play the, 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 the like the like the like henchman lead henchman that's it yes I know exactly who you mean yeah yeah, yeah I know exactly who you mean yeah I, um, I like them too as well yeah Richard Edson right yeah and um, plays Spike Cooper and Fisher Stevens plays Iggy Cooper. That's right, yeah. And they're they good, make the film. Good for comedy me. act, aren't they? Yeah, good, good double. I act. believe that the kind of they make, come up with a lot of the lines themselves. They were given free reign over the right. the characters. But they even created a rap as well. But I like Fisher Stevens mm. in whatever he's in. And we are going to show my um, my science project. Lovely. You know what I mean? Because that's um, yes. Yes. I've got, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a Blu-ray rip of that, and it looks fantastic. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, yes, yes, please. So we can screen that. It'll look fabulous in the big two hundred inch screen. Ooh, yeah. My science said. project. Yes. Oh, next Whoa. year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe November, even. Who knows? Oh, that'd be a good November film. It would be a good November film, wouldn't it? Yes, it's yeah. magical. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking of showing. Um, <coughs> National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation again. That's a fucking lootly. And I might just make that the Christmas film every year. Yeah, it's mine. Why not? I watch it every year. Why not? <laughs> Without Do you know what I mean? I'd love annual... to watch it with you guys every year. Um, you know, yeah. An annual yeah. thing we watch. Don't, don't you watch it in succession? 
succession. Not so in succession, but oh. in, you have a, you have a, a, an exi exact Christmas list oh, of when well, you watch films, uh, don't you? Not, no necessary, uh, no yeah, necessary you order, but I have I have like twenty films that have to be watched, and then films come and go off the list. But that's that's always been on since its first release. When do you watch it? Well, to fit them all in, I have to start watching them. Uh, so no, do, do you not save it for? Oh, Christmas, Christmas vacation. Uh, well, well, that's so, normally, it's one of the last ones. It's normally like the, the week before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christmas vacation. Yeah. I won't, see, I watch it. I watch it in the middle of the year because I, I don't like Christmas. No, but, you're, you're bad. So, bug, so yeah. well, watching it in the middle of the year is just. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, thing, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. In a few weeks' time, Violent Night. That's that's a good Christmas to, to really chip. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Violent Night. Really so it's, it's brilliant, but it's an odd time to bring it out. You think they bring it out at Christmas? No, I know. It's well, it's it's a good. Good I it's believe there's a sequel coming out. Oh, maybe for next yeah, Christmas. Maybe. Yeah. Well, not maybe a quick, but maybe next year after. Well, after but, yeah, because he's quite busy. I love Lord. David Harbour. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's he parking? I know he listens. Uh, Lily Allen. Lily Allen. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Married. Some size difference. Married. Married. Aye, they married. They met, they met on one of those um, dating apps. No mm. fucking they shit. They did on one of those famous dating apps. Right. They were in Italy at the time, same time. Were they? Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. That's lovely, man. So I know they both listen. So um, good on you. Good on you. Yeah. That's it. Cheers. But yeah, Fisher Stevens, Richard Edson as Iggy and Spike, fantastic. Fiona Shaw. Now you might remember Fiona Shaw from the likes of. Um, oh, she sounds British. She is British. Um, she's just been in. And she got red curly hair. In what dog? And or. She got red curly oh, hair. Right, okay. She's red curly short yeah, hair. Yeah, in this. Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember it. Lena, yeah. she plays. Right, yeah. And she, also, Andor? There was some, she plays um, Andor's mother. Oh, right. And she's in it, I think she was in um, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she was in, yeah. um, uh, is, oh, she's in uh, Killing Eve, isn't she? Is she in Killing Eve as well? Yeah, yeah, that's the one she I'm was in, about. Yeah, she's the mother in She was in sure Three she's... Men and a Little Lady as well. Yes, yeah, that's her. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the, uh, oh, when he says, like, um, I'm impotent, she says, I find that it's so attractive, attractive in a man. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. her, yeah, she's in uh, uh, Killing but Queen. But the, there was something about her in this film, to be honest. <laughs> I was, like, watching it, I was like, oh, Fiona Shaw. Huh? Yeah. Well, there we yeah. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was wearing some um, very tight leathery outfits, and it yeah, was... Yeah, um, yeah. She was looking alright, Fiona Shaw. Mojo Nixon playing to Toad. Um, the Goombas are hilarious when yeah, they yeah. start dancing and stuff like that. It's very much, I'd say, for our generation, drink, stoner, bong, pipe, getting pissed, sitting back, watching this kind of film. It's just memories. Nonsense. Yeah, because it came out in 93. And I can remember it, I was 93, I was um, 18. Yeah, yeah. And I can remember it, I went to see it on the cinema, and that, that's the last time I'd seen it. Um, but I had it on DVD, never watched it. Yeah. Um, and I've got it on Blu ray, which that's the one I've just watched. Mm. I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, yeah, it's not um, bad. And it was, I've got a soft spot for it, like. It was good yeah. crack. Um, I Nintendo basically. Didn't have much to do with it at all. Just, just, no crack just, on, so and they still it see it as a weird little oddity. Oh, good. Yeah. That Nintendo used to. Just didn't pursue it in any way, like, no. like, you violated our rights or like, violated That's it, they, did, they didn't go. <laughs> you violated our rights! They didn't go like I action did against that in Japanese or. accent. I, yeah. I resisted. Um, because it was a flop, <laughs> yeah. they didn't go down the live action route again until Detective Pikachu. Mm. Unless you can say. Which I've not seen. Oh, it's, oh, good, it's good, it's good. Ryan Reynolds, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Ryan Reynolds' top yeah, as Pikachu. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a terrible right. right. it's, it. I don't know if I'd watch it again, but I enjoyed it. But I, I enjoyed it. it. It's like I Pixels. It. Yeah. I enjoy Pixels. Oh, I love I've Pixels. I've still never seen I, that. Oh, Pixels is great really fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. You know it's what what I mean? It's just, it's Ghostbusters. It's I do find Adam Sandler incredibly irritating, though. Yeah, well, he's <laughs> oh, in it. Oh, no, I like he's Adam Sandler. I've got a sausage. Never like him ever. The thing is, he's not putting a voice on. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot better when he's not putting a voice on, yeah. and he's quite natural. You know yeah. what I mean? So he's yeah. that's good. And I, I, it's when he puts his like faces <laughs> <laughs> in. Yeah. You know, I, I've always liked Adam. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I've got a soft spot. Uh, for most people spot do. I'm, I'm, I'm an oddity for not liking him, but I mean, you can not like his new stuff because he has done some rubbish recently. I've not even I've seen. Really it. I've not even seen though the ones he's been really high. Like I've not seen Uncut Gems. I've seen that. Excellent. Yes, seen that. I, I believe so, and I should watch it. Yeah. 
It's uh, stressful. And the basketball it's, one yeah, as well. Uh, the, oh, um, the hustler. Um, um, yeah, hustle. Or oh, hustle. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. He's, yeah. he's a great actor. Yes, he is. Uh, Punch Drunk Love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing yeah. film. Yeah, and, so, you know, I mean, I do like, I, I, I like every Halloween. Now I watch Hubie Halloween. I See, enjoy it. He's putting on one of the voices. He's putting, he's putting his voice on, but... It's, it, that little Nicky... Um, what, but gro- it? you've got um, like grown ups. It's just him acting. I like grown ups, and especially grown ups too. Good ensemble. Grown ups too. When the, with the, what does this do? And it's the boat. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Smashes uh, Nick Swanson yeah. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah. I like. I enjoyed them films. Yeah, grown ups. So, but we're childish. Well, yeah. I love Will Ferrell and shit like that. I just had something. There's something about him that I've just never, never quite. Anchorman's one, my go- Anchorman's one of my good sleep films. Is it? I'll quite happily yeah. put that on and just oh, I'll film. drift off to that every time. Oh, I, I never get more than five, ten minutes in. Did right. you? Because I'm that comfortable with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, Talladega Nights is also my favourite. I love fucking I love Talladega, Talladega Nights. Yeah. It's not rookie Bobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're not fast, you're last. Yeah. No, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was Dick, Dick Clement and Ian Lefrenis. Oh, right, you did, uh, like, Heidi High and um, stuff like that. I think so. I um, They had a bash at the script to start with. Right. Um, <laughs> and then it was kind of scrapped and all that kind of thing. Bob Hoskins didn't know that the film he was making was based on a computer game <laughs> until his son asked him what he was working on. When, when Hoskins mentioned the film's oh. title... His son immediately recognised him and showed Hoskins the game <laughs> on his own NES. Aye? Yeah. And uh, how did Hoskins take that? Um, probably quite... Ah. Oh. Because his son have said it's a massive game, Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, so, well, it was the biggest game. When, well, it, yeah, was, it was, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean... Super Mario 2. Super Mario Brothers, though. Yeah, and Super Mario when Brothers, it, when, but, when, but by the time yeah. this had came out, yeah. there'd been so many... Yeah, yeah. The SNES oh, yeah. with lost levels and yeah. Super Mario Three, you know how mm-hmm. Just there was so much, wasn't it? Um, Dennis Hopper described the film's production. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Honestly, that movie. It was a hundred husband and wife directing team. Supposedly they were arrogant and ignorant, like oh. um, who were both control fe- freaks and wouldn't talk before they made decisions. Anyway, I was supposed to be there for five weeks. I was there for 17. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> um, and it was way over budget. And he was in a jungle in Apocalypse Now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do not know who I am. <laughs> uh, and this you know, was the worst experience he's had? <laughs> his, his, son asked, wh- his son asked, why did you make the film? And his, he, Hopper replied, well... You know, to keep you in shoes. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actors, yeah. Make always, classic liner. Yeah, oh, yeah. All, Mac, all actors make movies, and some of them that we're going to be talking about. Uh, what, one of mine is uh, that one of the actors did it for his kids. Yeah, well, you know, works work, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Some of them <laughs> are absolutely you know? terrible. Yeah. Um, um, I don't, I've never seen it, but I've seen the, the house that uh, it just, uh, that I bought like my put, mother. It's not yeah. thunder outside, by the way. Is it? No, it's not thunder. It's all oh, yeah, when you're was, doing that. Sorry, oh. that was me. My microphone stand was falling off. <sighs> I wondered why it was drooping a bit lower, and it was <laughs> my stand. She was said. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So Bob Bob Hoskins called the film a fucking nightmare, <laughs> and that the directors were fucking idiots because <laughs> they were just arguing and shit like that. And as I say, they never really made anything. Yeah, it sounds Afterwards. like what, uh, we can see why, I guess. Um, John Legazimo uh, stated that him and Bob Hoskins got pissed constantly on set Brilliant. because they hated making it. They were just drinking yeah. scotch. Brilliant. Um, Hoskins broke his finger in an accident. So Which one, that one? Well, it was slammed, <laughs> in, slammed in the van door. Ooh, mm. not in the van door. Yeah, the van door. And <laughs> if you look closely, he's got a painted um, pink... Cast on, <laughs> yeah. So look closely, and you'll you'll spot that. <laughs> right. um, the the guns that they use are um, Nintendo or Super Scopes. Yes, uh-huh. I knew the that. Gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and there's, a, there's obviously there's Nintendo shit. Yeah, all the way through. <laughs> there is. It's sprinkled everywhere. There's too much to kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
It's chock full of stuff. Oh, it is. Sorry, I had to cough there. I do apologise. Um, and I believe that the Super Mario Brothers movie archive got a extended version of the film. And if you go on the website, you can get it. Right. Um, I be so I believe from what I've read online. I didn't go check this out myself. Is it is it fifteen minutes more of nonsense? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they they got it. Walk yeah. away thinking, "Oh, what's yeah. going on?" I believe they got it digitised and it's on their website. Right. Um, it'll probably end up on YouTube somewhere if you Close look for it. Will, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, and they also done a, an official sequel comic book. Oh, um, right. That is um, canon by one of the writers saying it's canon. Oh, right. Okay. Um, official write up and all that, I believe, and you can get that on the website, which is the smbarchive.com. So I wonder if the um, the artwork in that is uh, like the original Mario, or whether it's like Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. I don't know. I didn't have a look, to be <laughs> yeah. honest. I should have had a look. No, know? I'm just curious. It's. Um, I think you'd have to keep it true to the film. Yeah, it's just a bit weird when you're in a comic book that you wouldn't yeah. like go back to yeah. the actual real yeah. Mario. But, but yeah, you probably have to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the t I think they tried to make it kind of that kind of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batman kind of look. Well, I mean, you think I was going to say the darkness of it. Yeah, they were. Oh, you know well, what I mean? Atmosphere. I was going to say as well. Then that couple of blokes, the henchmen, eh? Rocksteady, Rocksteady, and Bebop. Mm. It's the exactly the same sort of dynamic, but funnier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, much funnier. And, and then you got... can see in it, in it as well as a bit of an adult tone. Oh, definitely, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. wasn't just aimed at kids, because let's be honest, it had fuck all to do with the games. No. Yeah. <laughs> at all, it had nothing yeah. to do with those, you know what I mean? But no. um, Most of these films don't. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that was the point, wasn't it? Yeah. That's it. Um, I know there was one version of the script contained a cameo from Bruce Willis. Right. Do you know, because there was a lot of stuff with them going through the... The ducts. Yeah, the yeah. Pipes. Oh, no way. Bruce Willis was going to be crawling oh. through. You know what I mean? Just as a little bit of. I, I, I don't um, know how, but it would have cheapened it. <laughs> yeah, it would have cheapened it. How could you how, 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 how you could possibly but, cheapen something? It, that though, would do it, though, wouldn't it? That would just be like, oh, for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah. No, you, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Even though it was um, shit. It was all right. I mean, I don't mind it. <laughs> they nearly got um, Tom Hanks was going to play Mario at one point. No, right? impossible. But a couple, of, but a couple of films he'd made beforehand had flopped, so he was out the. Oh, all right, thing. So turned out. I suppose. Back Danny DeVito was looked at. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, Bruno Kirby. Who's that? He's in. He plays Clemenza in oh, right. the Young got, Clemenza. In, in the Young Clemenza. The Young Clemenza in. Godfather. Godfather 2. Oh, yeah, you see, that's no Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know you what you mean, yeah. You know what I mean, Bruno Kirby? Yeah, I know, he'd work, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. Italian as well, he looks Italian. Um, Schwarzenegger <laughs> turned down the role of um, Luigi. King Cooper. Oh, right. Ah, that, yeah, that could have worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think that could have worked, right? But, yeah, the, 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 a lot of it was put down to the directors trying to be, mm. you know what I mean, edgy and cool mm. and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from all reports, well, it screwed their own career because nobody would work with them afterwards yeah you know shame because they, they had some heavy hitters there you know, but yeah and they've done a lot of music videos and stuff like that Um but it was like Yoshi a baby T-Rex why didn't they just make a Yoshi make it cute mm -hmm. make it like Yoshi is I mean yeah. Yoshi's adorable man you know what I mean god um, we all want a Yoshi yeah <laughs> Harold Ramis was offered to direct the film but he declined mm. Um might work and Mario and Luigi don't dress in the trademark mark outfits till about just about an hour in, just over. Until mm. they go into the other side. Well, w they've been in the other side for ages before they even put the outfits on. <laughs> is that right? Oh, it's been yeah. a while since I've watched it. Um, so yeah. Oh, so d d d is not is not like a power up when they do that. I can't. Ding 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 ding. ding, ding. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> but then, yeah, he's flying around and all that kind of thing with the guns and <laughs> yeah, oh, with the, with uh, the bit with the jack boots on. Yeah, what are they I watched what is... it last night when I was. Um, all right, okay. Five sheets to the wind, <laughs> medicated and stoned. Uh, well. um, so it was. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching again. So, anyways, <laughs> that's my first one done. Um, over to the waffle, 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 waffle of goose. 
<laughs> um, with his computer game craziness. Okie dokie. Oh, and he's not on a book tonight, he's on his phone. I'm trying to uh, get into the 21st century, uh, so I've got it on my phone this week. So mine is from uh, a little bit after that. Uh, it's uh, an hour and 42 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Street Fighter. Yay. Yeah. Or, uh, or a Street Fighter 2, really, because it's, uh, it's nothing to do with the first one, really. But <laughs> yeah. um, Not that I ever played the first one. But, um, yeah, so it's, it's directed by Stephen E. D'Souza. He's, uh, done, he's got a decent career. Well, he has not really directed much, but he's writ some amazing films writ. like uh, wrote, wrote, written, written, or wrote, wrote, written, wrote. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said he, penned. He scribbled. He scribbled shit on paper. <laughs> yeah, uh, to, to like uh, uh, quite a few top movies. Like you got Judge Dredd, Beverly Hills Cop Three, <laughs> Die Hard, <laughs> Forty Eight Hours, Commando, R- Running Man, um, Beverly Hills Cop Three, classic. Uh, Commando. Yeah. Um, he's done. He's written some. Ri- he's written, wrote. He's written <laughs> <laughs> some some absolute classics. And I think I, I think his career took a bit of a nosedive towards street, towards the end of Street Fighter, Judge Dredd, Beverly Hills Cop Three, and the Flintstones compared to the Running Man, Commando, and Forty Eight Hours and Die Hard. But uh, but he certainly had some good credits there. Like yeah, yeah. K nine thousand. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Did he do the first one? Then? I, 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 I no, I don't think he did the yeah. f- first one. First he did Ricochet, good. though. He wrote Ricochet. Oh, yeah. Flintstones. And this this was his directorial debut as well. Uh, and I don't think he did much after that. <laughs> uh, and it's stu- it's got a uh, well, it's got a few good, good names in the cast. Uh, not massive names mainly, but the bit the big one. Uh, and I've actually got a bit of trivia which I'll pull out straight away, which was the whole <laughs> the whole thing cost. <laughs> Thirty-five million, and he got eight million of that because they really wanted him to play Guile, and it's Jean Claude Van Damme as uh, Colonel Guile. Oh, I mean, ninety-four when Street Fighter came out, and he was just starting to. I he d- he'd kind of he still wasn't a list. He wasn't Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger, but no, he was the but next he's, down. He's, he was a Steven Seagal. Yeah, and his career mm-hmm. was just starting to. Mm. You know what I mean? He had his big hit. His, you know what I mean? Yeah. He had his massive heyday of the eighties. Yeah, and he was still, you know what I mean. I think not far off from, was it, Time Cop or something like that. Time was his Cop, last yeah. Big, mm-hmm. yeah, that was big, must big have been hit. That time, yeah. I mean, there was others that went to the cinema. Double impact. Think, double impact. A yeah, hard target. Yeah, hard uh, t- d- double the Van Damme. Hard target was mm. was it? Was it? No, hard, hard target was fucking Van Damme. Yeah. What am I thinking of? John Woo directed. What am yeah, I thinking yeah. of? Then? Sam Raimi on productions. It was fucking amazing. I'll watch it. What it's based on. What's it based on? Oh, uh, the, the yeah, Dangerous that, Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do a podcast on them, so... We'll, right. We'll, yeah. Right, we'll come that shit later. Yeah. Then. Uh, so anyway, it's back to the waffles. Uh, we had uh, Raul Julia. Uh, another one of the big names, obviously, uh, mainly known from like um, the Adams family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and um, he was in the rookie as well. Um, and he died shortly after making this, um, before it was even released, actually, um, which was a shame. He was, he was actually, well, he'd had an operation on his stomach before this, uh, and when he when he rocked up for it, like he was looking really ill, uh, and they could tell something wasn't right with him, but nobody knew what was actually really wrong right. with him. Uh, so he did struggle to do the filming. Uh, you've got, um, as Chun Li, you've got Ming Na Wen, who people will know now from The Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. Yes, right. she's an excellent actress. Yeah. She's yeah. superb. Yeah. And she was in um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well. Uh, I never I only saw a few episodes of that. I never watched that. Okay. Couldn't get into it. Uh, you've I got didn't mind it. The other big name, the massive name, <laughs> Kylie Minogue. Oh, Kylie, yeah, yeah. Kylie. of course, Kylie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the, the two uh, cause ca- the two all Americans were played by uh, a, 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 a Belgian and uh, an Australian. Yeah, so yeah. Then, makes perfect sense. <laughs> so you've got you've got Colonel Gal with, with you know the, the American flags all over them, and he's yeah, fucking yeah. got his Cam is Belgian. Supposed to be British in this, isn't in? Oh yeah, Street no, you're right. Fight, actually, yeah. yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah. Well, I watched it last night. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I, I, I didn't watch it last night. So I've it's watched all it's, avail- it's, ava- it's available somewhere. I'm sure. Did you look at that? Uh, oh, uh, Amazon. One of them. Oh, no, I'm sure. Double Amazon Dragons and... on Amazon. Alone mm. in the Dark's on Amazon. Alone. Assassin Creed's on Amazon. 
Right. Um, I think some of it was on Sky when I looked. Because I, I, I watched them, I just dug them out and watched them. I watched three off Amazon and um, dug the others out. Uh, it's, it's the nature of this podcast being the worst films makes me not want to watch them again. Because I've seen all these films at some point, except yeah. for Double Dragon. Oh, shit. <laughs> if that is one of our picked films. <laughs> it might not be. <laughs> it's, uh, but, uh, but I've seen them all at some point, but it's just uh, not necessarily recently. Um, <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you've got uh, oh, yeah, another another big, well, sem- semi big name, uh, Roshan Seth, who plays Dalzim. Yeah, people recognise him from uh, the Temple of Doom. He's, yeah, uh, he's the guy that's uh, Molarama. The, uh, Mol- Molar- no, not Molarama. He's uh, he's the guy that runs the the. He was like the the head of the palace that the little prince. He's the one that comes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Um, yeah. Grand no. Grand El Bush playing Balrog, who was in. Um, Oh, uh, friggin' License to Kill, um, Lethal Weapon, he's been in loads. Oh, Just, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm friends with him on Facebook, Grand Bush Probably. as well, he's a lovely guy. Right. Um, and Miguel A. Uh, Nunez Jr., playing just, DJ. Just, just one sec, though. That his name's Grand L. Bush. Did he put the L in just so people didn't call him Grand Bush? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I've never asked him. You'd have to, because, yeah. like, I mean, Grand Bush, that's open to... Yeah, Some um, Miguel A. N- N- Nunes Jr. was f- in Return of the Living Dead. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the, the, um, the black guy? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Who's I mean, one of the gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah one of the main yeah. gang. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he, he plays the kind of com- comedy sidekick to M. Bison. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I- yeah, I mean, to be, it's 29 years since I've seen this, but I have read up on it for this podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you've got yeah, Simon, yeah. Simon Callow in... He might as well not be in it, because... He's Simon only, Callow? He, Simon Callow's briefly in it. Right. Mm, you know what I mean? I mean, briefly in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, cameo. Yeah, cameo. Um, yeah. And um, the guy who played Ryu. Oh, yeah. Um, Byron Mann. Yep. You usually see him playing kind of villainous Asian characters nowadays. Oh, ah, right. He okay. was in, um, oh, there's a show on um, Netflix, and it's basically Highlander. Oh, I can't right. think what it's called. Ah, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. But I, um, sorry, back to you. Yep. What for your, your film? No uh, So, the story is basically, uh, you've got Van Damme, uh, playing Guile, and he uh, leads an army of soldiers into the country of Shadaloo <laughs> in the hope of finding General M. Bison, who's played by Raul Julio, isn't he? Uh, and he's captured a bunch of soldiers, including Blanca, Guile's mate. Um, Chun Li, at the same time, is a reporter, uh, and she wants revenge for the death of her father at the hands of Bison. Um, and at the same time, you've got Ryu, Ken, Sagat, and Vega, who are all arrested for a variety of things, recruited by Guile to find Bison. They have three days to rescue the ho- hostages before they are executed. And the, so, the thing, <laughs> so nothing to do with the game whatsoever. No, no. <laughs> it's tournament. Thing, the, the Just thing, remake Enter the Dragon. Yeah, the, the thing <laughs> is, no, it's not even a tournament. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, but it is, it, there's no there's no tournament that's going my point, on. Yeah, that's I, my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just um, remake Enter the Dragon. That's what it should have been. Enter yeah, the Dragon. basically. That's, that's how you do it. Um, but uh, but the, 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 one of the things which made me laugh as well when I was re- re-watching it um, I mean, they're supposed to be the UN. That's oh, it's the Allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the Allies yeah, yeah. forces. Um, and you only see Dalsilm slightly, and same with Blanca. Yeah. They're not in it that much. Um, I know the I remember being disappointed ones. by that because Blanca is the one you want to see. Yeah, like, Blanc- well, they're the I interesting mean, ones, aren't they? I'm yeah. Dalsilm with his long limbs. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to see that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? but you only see them kind of. Yeah, you don't brief. see them. Uh, I mean, setting it all up for a sequel more than anything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, which never happened. Yeah, I've got a bit on that, so. Uh, ah, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just because uh, with me re watching it oh, last yeah, night. Just, just you, to, before you headed down, and then uh, this is this. Blah, 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 and so I, I just, I'll, I'll, um, there was something I was going to. Sort of, I was blah, 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 blah. and I can't remember where I was, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's nothing like the games at all. No, no. I mean, the, the basically one of the prerequisites that Capcom said when they did it 
was they had to use all 16 characters from Street Fighter 2. It was like, you've got to get them all in. So they're kind of wedged in. So I think that's partly maybe why Dalson was only good at small parks. It's like, yeah. right, where it, do we put it? It'd be in? hard to do, though. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Same as Blanca, hard to do. Zangief yeah. turns turns yeah. from a bad guy. When he realises that... Uh, he's a risky, M he's, a, he's yeah. a big risky. When he realises M. Bison's yeah. a bad guy, he's yeah. like, oh, I'm now a good guy because I don't want to be a bad guy. I thought he was the good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, originally in the Japanese version, M. Bison was uh, the boxer. Is that uh, uh, because uh, they just they just renamed it? They just named him after Mike Tyson, M. Bison. <laughs> and then when it went to America, uh, they said you can't just call the boxer M. Bison. Mike Tyson will sue us. So they switched the character Characters. name. Right, so. right. um, but yeah. Um, you see them all, I mean, on E Honda's there as well. Yeah, yeah. And you see him with the slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 100 hand slap. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's, it's, it's silly camp, mm. but it's watchable and it's got a, co a cohesive storyline. Mm. You know what I mean? Where some of the ones that are coming up, which we'll get to, just <laughs> haven't. But yeah, it's like, it, it, that's on the campy fun side of, yeah. you know, yeah. where. where Years later, you can look back at it and go, Do you know something? I'd watch that again. I'd watch that It's yeah, not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Well, see, I tried this with Mortal Kombat and I got about 20 minutes in and knocked it off. It's oh, nice. see, I watched them not yeah, too long ago, nice. the old Mortal Kombat. So I enjoyed Annihilation them. as well. And yeah, I, I watched I, them all. I quite enjoyed it when I first saw it at the cinema. I went to cinema and as I, well. I, I went and watched, started watching it. I was just, nah, no, 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 And that was a massive hit. Mortal yeah. Kombat was a big hit. So no, I didn't enjoy Street Fighter when it first came out, so I'm pretty sure if I rewatch it, I really won't like it. Well, that's it. I mean, there's yeah. certain films I've watched first time yeah. round and then disliked them second, and then liked them second round time round. Yeah, Watches is also my big one. I used to love that when I was a kid in the 80s. Watches was one then you watched it again and you watched were like... Watched it recently again, knocked it off. So good. There's four of them. Yeah, I never got past four, the first Four, five, one. four or five. I think the video I never got the sequels in. For yeah, um, I... Up to Watches Reborn. But the first one was the one that carried Corey Haim in. Uh, yeah, I was a big Corey Haim fan in the 80s. So, so uh, yeah, so uh, that's, that's the basic story. Um, it was originally rated R. Uh, but they had to get it to a PG-13. They did, I. So that hacked all, pretty much all the, the violence out of it. Uh, and then it, it put it down to what was, uh, it's like a G or something like that, some, uh, something just below uh, an R in America. Uh, and it was still uh, still too high, so they had to knock some of the swearing out, replace some of the swearing, and it got, they finally got the PG-13, but it was like hacked to shreds by the time it got out. Um, the... Uh, oh, yeah, the the... the the end ending, as you uh, uh, you alluded to before, that it was set up as a sequel. Um, the ending had Raul Julia's hand coming out of the rocks, um, as if like he's still alive, and Bison's still alive. So there's going to be a sequel, but obviously he died by the point it was released. So they had a dedication to him in the in the, in the film, I. but at the same time his hand's coming out. Will will he be back? And say, well, no, he's not. It's so like it's been, if it had been yeah. a success, they'd have found replaced. Like, yeah. yeah, that's it. But. But yeah, because yeah, they the cut that scene out in the cinema releases, then brought it back for the VHS release, right. out of, um, just out of respect for him, but then they brought it back again. Um, so, uh, John claude Dam revealed later that during filming, he had a drug problem. Well, you couldn't tell that much, could you? Doing $10,000 worth of cocaine a week. Fuck He hell. had an affair with Carly Minogue. <laughs> she denies, I believe. Right. I think. Yeah, uh, the director said that Van Damme's cocaine addiction caused constant disruption during filming. The studio had fa hired a, a wrangler to keep an eye on Van Damme. But this person was a bad influence himself. The action star would often call in sick, leave the set, show up late, on, not at all, forcing D'Souza to find other scenes to film in order to make up for lost time. <laughs> so, oh, know. brilliant. See, this is, this is when he was at the, he's kind of starting yeah. to decline yeah, 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 because yeah. of his... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Carly Scary Man, that, eh? Callum Minogue, on the other hand, was praised for her professionalism and generosity, such as hiring a club and buying drinks for the entire cast and crew to make the tough shoot a little easier. There was equal praise for Raul Julia, who was accompanied by his family due to his t being terminally ill with stomach cancer. Despite his declining health time. and frail state, everything th everyone thought that Julia was always focused and was a joy to work with. And he oh, do when you yeah. look at him, he doesn't really look it. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, what I mean? Um, and it's silly, it's stupid, it's campy as hell. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, love. Yeah. Like watching it again. 
You know what I mean? It was a, it was a, it was a, and I, I haven't watched that since the cinema. Yeah. Which yeah. I remember coming out the cinema going, what the fucking hell have I just watched? <laughs> this is nothing like the game, but yeah. it was stupid. Well, maybe because my expectations will be so much lower, I'll maybe um, enjoy it a bit more on the second watch. Well, I'll, I'll probably wait in the cinema. Well, I, watched, I don't think I saw it in the cinema the first time, but I probably uh, was expecting it to be amazing and then anything less. <laughs> 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 I never expected it to be amazing. John Corbin, damn. Kylie, how could it go wrong? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. But it was. Um, oh. Yeah, no, but I, I'll say, I, well, first time round, I was like, but watched it, like, yes, last night, and as I say, I told you what I was like, mm. um, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I did, I re I enjoyed it. Well, I might bang it on again, as I say, if I don't like it, I'll knock it off after ten minutes. Well, but that's it, but give it another watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh... For the role of M. Bison, Raul Julia researched ver various dictators and crime lords and their lives and personalities, and mimicked many of their traits to incorporate into his character. Uh, notably, Benito Mussolini's hand gestures, gestures, Joseph Stalin's mannerisms, Pablo Escobar and his elusiveness, and Adolf Hitler's love of art. Julia, Julia also approached the role with a Shakespearean tone, looking at Bison in the same type of villain as Richard III. So he really went deep oh, into yeah, yeah. his role, like, for M. Bison. Well, when you think about it, you know, the game was fucking massive. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So hopefully that should... But it just... It, it, I think it made more money on... It made its money back with VHS. Oh, no, yeah, it was a success. It made money. Oh, it made money? Yeah, yeah, it did actually make money. It was, a, like, a success, but they just never made it. It wasn't something. a thing at the time, though, was it, really? It wasn't a big thing that had been no. exploited video game movies at that time. Mm. I mean, well, it was time, at that time, the time there was. There was what a lot. What we're talking now? This was the same year as yours. Yeah, 93. Your there wasn't yeah. much about. Yeah. But there was. You had, um my next one. Right. You had Super Mario. Yeah. You had that. Yeah, but, but there you wasn't... Had Ma there Mortal Kombat. It was not Mortal Kombat, yeah. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... All right. <laughs> Fuck off. At that time, there was a, a I'm call. I'm sinking into my chair yeah. here. Yeah. Like, get... <laughs> you know what I mean? And that was like... <laughs> and then, you know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the AN Forces radio DJ is played by Adrian Croner, whose exploits as an armed forces radio DJ in Vietnam were dramatised in Good Morning Vietnam. Right. So he even gives a variation of his signature sign and phrase, Good morning, Shadaloo. Good, Good morning, Shadaloo. Shadaloo. <laughs> <laughs> um, although the film was panned by both movie critics and fans of the Street Fighter games, it did become a commercial success. Uh, Raul Judy's performance was also praised. Um, uh, the uh, the sequel was actually being talked about right up until I think it was last year. Uh, there was actually talk with uh, John Claude Van Damme signed up to come back, and Dolph Lundgren signed up as well to come back. But then the rights reverted back to uh, Capcom. So if it uh, if they do make a new one, it'll be Warner Brothers doing it. Right, right. Uh, Bloody hell! There we go then, and that's uh, and that's Street Fighter. Um, I'm not quite sure where it, you might want to watch it. I forgot to look that up. It's not. Um, yeah, it's it's it's, it's probably on it's probably on ITV Plus or yeah. whatever that is now. ITVX. It's a sort yeah, of shit it'll be they on have. somewhere. Maybe I'm sure it'll be on something yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Go and have a look for it. Um, so over to Daz. Right. Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> right. I'm going to go for a real. <sighs> Crap film, like. <laughs> crap um, film? Yeah, this is terrible. Um, 2005 by Uwe Ball, and it's the film Alone in the Dark. I was trying to pick it up, but I can't. You can't, you <laughs> I can't, can't do it. Um, From 2005, fuck me. Yeah, uh, Christian Slater. I mean, love. the cast. Tara Reid, yeah. Stephen Dorff, Frank C. Turner. Um, Karen Cunaval as Sister Clara but yeah you've got Christy Slater as Edward Canby a, a, a paranormal investigator and um, he's, he's an orphan as well of course yeah. of course they're always orphans aren't they yeah. they're always orphans he's had a tortured life and he sees things um, <laughs> yeah we're both orphans Dad. yeah I know <laughs> I know <laughs> um, 
Oh, you put me off now, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I made it dark. <laughs> it's a hard night for us. It's a hard night for us. I'll tune. Please, uh, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, it's a paranormal investigator in the future, not in the future, in this... Time. In this movie's reality. Yeah. Oh, God, man. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, what? I, this film makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. No. You cannot understand. It's got nothing to do with the game. Oh, don't, don't even get me started on the likeness of the game. <laughs> um, but um, it's just lots of things thrown at something and a mess. Yeah. I have seen this. I remember watching it at the time thinking, oh, this is going to be smart. Well, so like Christian Slater, Slater in it. And, yeah, and, you know, uh, I like Stephen Dorff as well. And Tara Stephen Dorff's amazing. Class, uh, Tara, Tara Reid, yeah. Just, yeah, at the yeah. time, Tara Reid was, you know, putting out decent movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah decent absolutely. name to be attached this, to your thing. This would be after American Pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Christian Slater again. You know, Stephen Dorff. Yeah, all yeah. good. Good names. Three, three decent mm. names who were obviously taking a motherfucking paycheck. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, they have to do it. You know what I mean? They have to do it. It's like Edward Norton when he get got caught up in that thing with whoever, and he had to American make a certain amount. Of, yeah, he, he had to make a certain amount of films, didn't he? With oh, um, right, yeah. with, with, with Paramount, I think. Oh uh, right. And he had to make the Italian job, and he really didn't uh, want yeah. it. Yeah, it was a deal he'd signed. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, I'll fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, and Edward can be. Um, discovers this, like, hark back to an ancient tribe called the Abkarnis, Abkarnis, yeah. Abskarni, and they're trying to release a legion of, like, demons or something to <laughs> take over the world, like they tried many years ago or something like that. That is, like, the most co- I was watching cohesive it. way it's, of saying it. It's yeah. on, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's on Prime it's, Video. It is, I don't and watch that, it. And I was watching it, and I was, like, getting confused, so I was having to rewind. I thought, I've missed something. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. no, I haven't missed anything. It's just confusing as yeah. fuck. Yeah, it makes yeah. no sense. It yeah. makes no sense whatsoever. It's atrocious yeah. movie. Yeah. But, on the bright side, the game is a pile of shit, too. <laughs> there we go, then. I don't know if I've ever played it. Oh, it's I've never played it. Oh, is it dark? I mean, I like it. survival horror games. Yeah, I love, I love survival horror games. They're my favourite favorite genre. Mm -hmm. I think, I think what, there's one game I loved. Was it Alan Wake or Alone in the Dark? Alan Wake. Alan Wake was a great oh, game. Alan yeah, Alan Wake. I think that it was Alan Wake. Yeah, that deserves that. a film. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I don't know if we've said that before, but it yeah, deserves a Yeah, there was talk of an Alan Wake I'm sure there was. And maybe a sequel game. Hmm. 13, did you ever see the 13 TV show kind of thing? Do you, uh, do you know the one I mean? The cell shaded one. The cell shaded graphics. Ah, it's it's like cartoony. Cartoony, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's the, not cell shaded graphics. Ah, it was on that style. It's like Jet Set Radio. Do you remember Jet Set Radio? No, that's sh the, the proper. The rapper, the rapper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cell shaded. Ah, right, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but but yeah. 13's of like more comic book like uh, yeah, yeah. great game that 13 yeah I can remember playing it good yeah. day um, yeah yeah I can remember oh, playing it back in the day but yeah on the, th on the Xbox I played it yeah cracking game yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I played it on the Xbox anyway um, yeah it makes no sense the game makes no sense stay clear <laughs> yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying just, I watched the, se the sequel is on um, Prime Video as well. Yeah. And the sequel makes a little bit more sense, but just, and it's full with Lance Henriksen, um, and others, Ricky Younes in there, um, Ed or from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, who played the hitchhiker, um, who played the, the DJ, sorry, um, oh, off me, I can't think. Um, but yeah, it's and that is terrible, but better than the first one. Bloody but hell. But still not that good. I don't yeah. want to watch it. But they're both on um, Prime Prime Video. Yeah. So if you want to watch them, they're on Prime Video. That's, but that's a glowing recommendation. Go and check them out. Go and check them out. <laughs> you know, carry on, Dazzle. I don't endorse this film any <laughs> bit, really. See, it's, it's, an hour and hour, it's an hour and 38 minutes, and I know that because I looked. Do you know... <laughs> then you'll know, never get back. <laughs> do you know um, all Mr. Bollocks... Um, 
Do you know the reason why he got fucking all these films made? Harry Ball? Aye. Go on. Because of a fucking German tax loop, he was fucking, um On a fiddle? He, no, he was... There was a tax loop, so he was fucking, um where he could get money from the German government. So he was thinking this tax loop until they closed it, so he couldn't do it anymore, but all most of his films... Right, right. Were made were, off the were, back of that? Were made off the back of that. <laughs> That's cool. how he managed to get the, the coin to get some decent actors. Right. Me and Jeremy Irons in fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, did he do Dungeons, uh, the, the original one? Yeah. Right, right. You know what I mean? House of the Dead. Yeah, I never saw that, actually. Uh, Jürgen Pershing, oh, I don't know. Oh, House of the Dead was terrible. Yeah, I heard you two say it was bad, so... I mean, I, know, I love the game. No, the game's but a great it's, it's, it's hard to put yeah. that into a film. Yeah, House of the Dead was just a shoot to one of you. Yeah, oh yeah, it was, just, it, was, it, was, it was a stand up, shot stand up shit. Yeah. 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 And they do yeah. do a part in the in the film where it's like that. Yeah, yeah. But you know they do that in Doom as well, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do, I. They have, they have a bash. The job. They have a bash. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's like they're doing a, a Gran Turismo film. It's like, how do you, like, no. there's no plot to Gran Turismo. Well, which one, no. uh, well, it'd just be You know what I mean? You'd want it to be Vice City. Well, yeah. You'd want it to be Vice City. You want it set in the eighties, no, Vice City style. Gran Turismo. Oh, Gran Turismo. Turismo. Oh, yeah. not Gran. Oh, there's no coming out. out. Oh, did I? Did he say Gran Turismo? I said Gran Turismo. Yeah. yeah. Have, have, you, seen the, have you seen yeah. the Gran Turismo film? I haven't no. seen it yet, but uh, no, just, it's just weird when there's no storyline to the game making it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 I, it's 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 quite it's um the 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 thing the what I've seen it looks all right um it's a lad who. Is excellent at the game Gran Turismo. All right. And there's a a competition. All right. And whoever okay. wins the competition. All right. All right. Okay. Gets That's... to drive. Right. For this driving team. Oh, that's that. so. It's got a, a nice connection to the game. Without nice trying connection to, be to the, the game. game without trying right. to be the game. Oh, that's 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 a good concept, actually. That's... And then you you, yeah. you you're the driver doing the Gran Turismo. Yeah. Yeah. Thing once you, once this lad gets onto the yeah you know what I mean his combat and because obviously he was a gamer yeah and he becomes this shit hot driver yeah because yeah. of the game ah uh, no that's that, that's, so, that's a nice connection to it actually but yeah I've got, I was going to say I'm pretty fucking good at Gran Turismo <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shit driver like <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty good at Gran Turismo yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good at racing games to be honest I've never been that good. Oh, very good. I was never good with the brake. I was just like, uh, fast. Ah, wall. Sorry, I'll bang off it. Wall. Bang off it. <laughs> the thing with racing games, I like, I like to play them with friends, though. Sorry, yeah. it wasn't... It's not um, really a game I can play by myself for it, long. It wasn't Dungeons yeah. and Dragons with e Dun Ball. It was... Um, no, you didn't say Dungeons and Dragons, did you? I did, I. Yeah. Oh, did you? I, it was in the name of the King the Dungeon Siege tale with Jason Statham. Oh, oh right, yeah, that, actually, yeah, that was awful. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah. yeah. And he done the blood yeah. rain. Is it, did that Burt Reynolds in as well? N no, um, did it? Let's have a look. Or am I thinking of someone else? Rayleigh really Otter. Ah, uh, maybe Ron really Perlman. Hmm? I mean Matthew Lillard. <laughs> oh right. You know what I mean? Burt Reynolds, aye. Yeah, 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 wasn't yeah, 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 yeah. You could sniff out Burt. Yeah. 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 Sequel to yeah. that two-hour, seven-minute film. Jesus. And that came after Alone in the Dark. Yeah, and yeah. it was all because of this fucking. I mean, look at the fucking the the actors he'd got in that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's impressive. Man. Man. Yeah, anyway, Blood Rain films as well, which was a computer game, which I didn't mind. Blood Rain. To, yeah, I didn't no, mind. I, I've never played the game, and I've, uh, I, I think I started it. the game and I stopped playing the game because I was. I never played the game, but I didn't mind the films. Yeah, right. There's yeah. three or four of them. Lots of blood. Yeah, they're all right. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> anyway, shall I give some trivia on um, Turd in the Dark? I mean, Alone yeah. in the Dark. Go on, then. Go for it. Um, the, lengthy, the lengthy opening text scroll, crawl, even, um, <laughs> was added to, after numerous test audience members said they were confused by the plot. <laughs> so the guy basically had to explain the whole film. Even, yeah. even the start of it. <laughs> even and even that, that didn't make sense. Then, yeah, <laughs> even with that, it still doesn't make no, any sense. You've just that, read that whole crawl, which goes on forever. Yeah, and, and there's a bloke who's reading it as yeah, well. And, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he, he sends you to sleep, to be honest. Yeah. No, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not like Morgan Freeman yeah. doing it. And you know also, what I mean? I'd love that. Yeah. I want to, just before you get into the thing, I want to say, do not confuse that Alone in the Dark with the absolute masterpiece Alone in the Dark. 
<laughs> from 1982 with Jack Plant, Donald Pleasance, Martin Landau, Dwight Schultz, Erlen Van Lith. Go on, do you know who that is? Erlen Van Lith? No. Mm -hmm. Stir Crazy, Running Man. Right, yeah, right. Do you know the big guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And this was one of them. Um, oh, yeah, made. yeah, the big, the big he died. Yeah, uh, he only made about three yeah, or four films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were Die. all classics yeah, yeah, in yeah, their yeah. own right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, do not confuse Alone in the Dark. With Alone in the Dark. With Alone in the Dark <laughs> from <laughs> 1982, yeah. which is a brilliant kind of slasher film. I um, Yeah. Set to break out of a mental asylum. Right. Fantastic. Right. Okay. So, yeah, do not. Before Daz continues, do not mix yeah. the two up. No, 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 yeah. no. I'll, 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 I was going to point that out, but there, there is another film called that. But I don't need to. No, sorry, I have to go fine. It's a bit. absolutely fine. Um, after execs read the green draft of the shooting script, the film got an additional ten million. Uwe Ball just poured the money into special effects. It doesn't fucking show. Doesn't show. <laughs> Shit me. I think he was doing cocaine. I think uh, it was more than cocaine. I think he was doing heroin or acid. Yeah. Was named worst film of 2005 by the Stinkers Bad Movie Awards. Well, yeah. It's fucking shit. Yeah, Uri Bolt stated on various occasions that he re regretted having Tara Reid in the film. Right. Well, she must um, have been doing coke a lot at the time. Yeah, then. yeah. Ball wanted Christian Bale and Jessica Alba for the leads. That Christian wasn't going to happen. No, no, when, no. When was this made again? Oh, 2005. 2005. Oh, Christian Bale was kind of... Yeah, yeah. Coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was kind of Batman, kind of. Yeah, yeah it was. I. Yeah. Every piece of body armor worn by the various extra foot soldiers during major battle scenes is paintball body protection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this was one of the two films that received an F cinema score from audiences upon the release. The other one was Wolf Creek. No, yeah, right. Now then. Wolf Creek seen as a classic horror. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm the one yeah, yeah, I just fucked with a load in the draft film. Pile of fucking. <laughs> oh, you can't even put it as horror. Go, find a field where there's a cow and wait for it to shit, and you'll have more entertainment than you will with that film. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't do this to films. We don't? Ever. This is it's a rare isn't it? Yeah. Is, isn't it? Oh, we really don't fucking like it, all right? Yeah. But we love Christian Bale, we love Stephen Dorff, we love Tara Reid. And some of the other actors, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, actors, and it's and it's got, just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not their fault. It's just they were tainted. It's not their fault. They were tainted. Yeah. tainted. Yeah. Looking at you, your fault. Well, maybe it isn't your fault. Maybe you had a better... We, yeah. Who knows? Anyway... I'll sign off on the, that because um, um, we don't need to go into it more. Just avoid it. But do watch the um, 19, 1982. I've literally 1982, yeah, 1982 version. Um, yeah. Really do. F literally just add that to my watch list because that, uh, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> a, few, <laughs> yeah. a few dangerous and delusional mental patients break out of a mental asylum during a power blackout. That sounds sweet. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a crack. I've got it on VHS somewhere. I've got it on Blu-ray as well. It's an absolute belter. Yeah. Um, absolute classic film, uh, Alone in the Dark, the original. I might see if that's anywhere to watch. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Because we don't need to tell anyone where that one was, but what about uh, the other one? I have one. a quick have a quick digs before I flash into my my next one. Alone in the dark, and we have. Uh, doesn't look. Oh, there it is. It's on Amazon for three pound forty nine. There you go. Worth every penny. Yeah. Worth every fucking penny. I've got a Blu-ray. I've got on VHS. You know what I mean. So I'm, I'm a happy bunny. Yeah. Um, I'll be paying that. Yeah, you'll waffle be forking out the three pound forty nine. Have to wait till Monday when I get paid. Don't That's it. it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> down to me, and uh, I'm journeying. I was in ninety three. I'm going up a year to ninety four, um, and martial arts film. Based on the video game series of the same name, based on, <laughs> uh, sorry, Yoshi Kishimoto's 87 hit Beat em Up by Technos, um, the same name, Double Dragon, with um, Mark Dacascus and Scott Wolf, Alyssa Milano, oh, yeah. Robert Patrick. Oh, right. um, Robert Patrick plays the antagonist Kogashuka. Mm. 
right. um, it's fucking mental and right. it's great mental it's campers Christmas right. um, and what makes it funny I mean Mark Dacascus is a fantastic martial artist yeah um, and he's done so much I mean he was in John Wick 3 taking on John Wick himself in, as the, the final you know boss oh, the yeah, final yeah. boss man basically yeah, yeah. before the end um, and he's still he's excellent Drive if you've never seen Drive which done bullet time before the Matrix, right. and is one of the greatest. Is that the slow slow one? No, no. It's um, driving with Mark Dacascus and oh, he played Dwayne Wayne in um, in in uh, the Cosby um, College thing. The Cosby College thing. I <laughs> oh, was that like a off the Cosby show? Yeah, there was a spin off with one of the daughters went to college. And uh, I can't remember really? the name. I remember that being out. And one of the guys was Dwayne Wayne. He also played. Um, Eddie Murphy's familiar in Brooklyn, um, Vampire, 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 Vampire in Brooklyn. Vampire Brooklyn. You know the guy? Uh, no, you don't know his I've name. I've seen it so long, I can't, I can't, uh, yeah, right. I still can't quite picture but, 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 yeah, so All, all of that stuff you've talked about, I haven't seen for years. Yeah, yeah. Drive, <laughs> excellent. Check it out. Mm. Great martial art film. Steve Wang directed it. Who done one of the Who done one of the um, Giver films? Oh, I think right, it was the okay. first one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Which uh, campus crimbo were brilliant. Yeah. Did you watch them both? I didn't get through the first one, to be honest. <laughs> Did you not? I knocked it off. Oh, you fucking <laughs> lambstain. It was just, I, I love the costumes. The costumes are amazing, like, but I just I just felt less was more if, like, when they're running around in these rubber costumes, it just looked a bit silly. If they'd kind of been a bit more subtle shots, the camera angles of kind of like, that look really cool, but it was just kind of, this is our costumes, and they were just kind of waddling about. But <laughs> you, just, you had Jeffrey Coombs in there. Oh, the great cast, great cast. Oh, yeah, yeah everybody was I great. Know, I, I think, love I, think it. I like I'm less than you. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just I've got yeah. them both on Blu-ray, yeah. the guy with films, I, yeah. and I've got them on VHS as well. Yeah. I think they're absolutely um, fucking fabulous, but mm. that's just me. Oh, that's Bit right. of a weirdo. No, um, no but yeah. other people like So, well. um, basically, this is set in a futuristic 2007, where there's been a massive earthquake that's fucked up uh, um, Los Angeles, and most of it's underwater, um, and they're, they're all now living in New Angeles. And they've got Andy Dick as the weatherman. If you know Andy Dick, the, com the comedian, oh, yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. playing Andy Dick. The right. weather it comes up, is Andy a, Dick, right. weatherman, he's, and he's, he's doing got, the weather. He's got a bit part in Road Trip. He's in all ah, sorts. Yeah. He's, he's, in, all he's sorts. in Employee of the Month. Yeah, and he's really good in that. that and he's in um, Love Him and Employee of the Month. He's that in is a it. cartoon show. So is it like Family Guy or Simpsons or something? Is it? It's is probably. Is a, is it it yeah, but he's also in. Is that um, sort of dude? Uh, yeah. Oh, old school. Oh right. Oh yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah. He plays. He plays the oh. um, the transvestite, <laughs> ah, who sh shows them how to. Go, go, he's wanting to show the women how to um, fillet and all that, you know. Right. Yeah, it's quite funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Andy Dick's playing himself basically. Excellent. Um, in a bit, and it's like it's it's a eighties nineties post apocalyptic look. You know, the gangs have taken over, and yeah, there's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. there's a um, basically the police rule the day. The gangs rule the night. So if you're out on a night, yeah, your fair game. Your fair game. The yeah, police yeah. aren't going to do anything. Yeah. So everything's got to be shut up, and the gangs rule the night. Setup seems pretty good. Um, and I mean, it's loud. It's colourful. Yeah. Um, and it's all to do with, um, like a medallion. Right. And Robert Patrick's character, he needs the medallion. Um, the other half. They've got one half. Yeah. The the boys, the twins. One's the double a, dragon. Yeah, the double dragon. One's Asian and one's um, American. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah. the, the best thing is, <laughs> the best thing is, Scott Wolf isn't a martial artist, so you never really see him pulling off any martial arts stuff. Yeah. And it's usually, you know, choreographed, hitting them with something, opening doors in the faces. That kind of kicking their asses, all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas when you see Mark Dacascus, he's all over he's, it. All, he's doing the spins. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's picking up brooms and spinning them round his head, and yeah. you know, he's taking out Al Leong. Do you know yeah. Al Leong, the the henchman? No, I'm sure he's in, he's in yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. Um, 
Asian guy who was in Big Trouble in Little China, um, Lethal Weapon, Raiders. Dark Hair, Tash. He's even got a. He's is a little documentary. Is he in Raiders? Which one well? is he in Big Trouble in Little China? He's one of the um, bad three. guys. One of the main three. Well, he's one no, of no. the bad guys. Right. He's always a bad he's guy. Always, yeah, he's, he's, he's always, always a henchman. Right. He's always a henchman, but he's really talented. And he probably yeah. he'll have choreographed some of the stuff in the film. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you've got uh, Melissa, Alyssa Milano, who was like probably ten years off from doing Commando. Yeah. yeah. You know, so she was looking more ladylike. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And they make you know, there's a part where she goes into some into probably. a pipe. And she bends over, and the boys are both looking at her ass. You know, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Which they got away with back then. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Situation. <laughs> and, you know, Scott Wolf plays Billy Lee, the younger of the Lee brothers. Um, they're not twins. Um, and he wears. All blue identical. <laughs> yeah. No, all identical. And uh, he, pl he wears a, the blue outfit at the end, and he's originally player one character right yeah why he should be player one when it should be the other way around yeah. um do you reckon if you had like non-identical twins and your mother your mother was asian and your dad was white you could have one asian kid and one white well kid. it's happened before of course it? It has. There's, yes. been white, there's been um, a woman yeah had had <laughs> sex with a white man and a black man right and she had twins one was white one was black well, right, I didn't know that crap. You Google that, it's right. bang on I'm not, 100%. I'm not, I'm not, not believing you, you I just, I mean? just didn't know that was like... The human body is so, an amazing thing. I'll tell you where I read that. Remember the Bizarre magazine? Yeah. That's oh, where yeah. I read that. Yeah. Right, right. Good old Bizarre you've got, magazine. You've yeah. got to think of the odds of things as well. This will be back of in how many people there are on the planet yeah, just, and, you know yeah. what I mean, but the odds have, of You'd have to have happening. sex really quickly after one after the other because you'd get one egg, wouldn't you, and then like two different sperms from different people. It's called DP, mate. It's called what? DP. DP. Penetration. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, we're, we're, we're going down a route that we don't need to go down, boys. Well, he fucking took us down a route. Well, he did, I. Yeah. 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 So, uh, uh, Alyssa Milano plays Marion. Funny like the Mersey Tunnel. <laughs> oh. So, Alyssa Milano plays um, Marion, <laughs> uh, who's the heroine in the game. Yeah. Um, wrote Patrick, who's not in the game, really. Um, he was created for the movie. Well, you you, you need a fucking. It was Victor dude. Geis Victor Geisman struck Koga shoot um, Koga Shuko. Right. Um, and basically, he's chasing the boys, and he's looking for the. He wants the other half of the medallion, but he's got powers already. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He can turn so. himself. He can possess people. Yeah. And yeah. he can turn himself into these demon vampire ninja looking things. Yeah. That are actually quite there's some quite cool special effects in it. I've yeah. never seen um, it. I believe it fell on its ass. The guy who directed it only made the one movie. Uri right. Oh no. But <laughs> it directed shitloads, it directed Liberian Girl. Um oh, music Michael Jackson. Right. Done loads girl. done loads for um <laughs> that's what <laughs> done loads for Genesis. Did he, right? Jesus He Knows Me video and all I that. I love that. Oh, I yes. love that video. Yeah, he done, he done that's a good video. loads for Phil Collins, Another Day in Paradise and all that. Did he do Land of Confusion? That's a good video. Uh, no, no, that's, no, no, that's, that's yeah, my favourite well, Genesis. He might the puppets, yeah. yeah, no, that's okay. my favourite Genesis it's, video. It's Absolutely. Video. Yeah. One of my favourites. Yeah. 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 Love it. You know I mean? and, and it's very apt still, that song. Still. Oh, yeah. Completely. It's fucking but very apt. I'll play it now and again. Have you never noticed? I'll play it now and again when the government are. Oh, mate, mate. I'll just put Land of Confusion. On and yeah, folk yeah. will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I put stuff the Jubilee by Ann Carter on the other day. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, George Hamilton's in it as well, playing Is he George. Really? Yeah, he's just playing George Hamilton as an anchorman yeah. on the same TV show that um, Andy Dick's playing the weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and director Jim Yukich, I think I've never heard his name, so um, he no. kind of. Yeah, it was his only film, and you can kind of see why. But there's loads of great practical effects in. Um, do you know in the film where there's the, the in the game there's them big headed things? Oh man, it's fight. been a long time. Uh, um, I haven't played it since the eighties. Yeah, maybe. I think I, I, I never had it as a home console. I only played it the arcade. And I can remember. I only I, played I, it. In the I used to also run out of money before I got very far in it. Oh, right. Well, the turn, the turn. <laughs> one of the characters, a Bobo. 
Um, Uri Ball. Uri Ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's to turn him into like one of the things from the game. Right. And right. he kind of gets tortured and he's not happy and he turns against Robert Patrick's character. Right. And there's some great effects in it. There's a big scene where they blow up. Uh, they're trying to get them and they set the river on fire and they blow up this fucking big old stretch. Right. And it's fucking amazing because it's all practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's some great practical effects in it. Um, and it's it's just a great fun adventure thing that's got fuck all to do with the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, how can you base it on the game? If you've ever played the game... I love the it game. It was a side scroll and beat them oh, up. Yeah. It was, it. I played that there game... There was no point to it. I no, played no, that no, game that much on the arcade that I could do it on Tempe. Right. Fucking it was right. one of the few games I could do on Tempe. I was into the racing games. Right. That if I wanted longevity... If I wanted longevity on a game, I'd go on a racing game because I'm usually quite good at them. Yeah. Um, Star Wars was always one of my favourites. The uh, vector graphics ones, you know what I mean? The line graphics. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that game, I, I was pretty good at that. Final Fight, that was my favourite arcade. The way, Final Fight. The, um, Final. Is that where he had the green out? There was the big muscly guy with a moustache. Yeah. Was... But, but you, wait, did you have a green silhouette? Uh, oh, I can't remember. You now. can get Final Fight on your phone and that. I can, yeah, I can't, I'm not really good at playing I've got games on the Switch. Phone, it's hard to work. Yeah, I've got it on my Switch. I like the yeah. Switch is good uh, switch, for... Yeah, the Switch would work. It's, it's just handy, like... When you've got, like, a little, like, cursors on your screen, it's hard to, like, kind of move uh, people about on I it. I was going to get the OLED yeah. Switch, but I believe they're bringing out, another, they're bringing out uh, a new console. Oh, right, Because okay. it's that long since... You love your Switch Nintendo, don't you? I do. Mm, so yeah. I'll be saving up to buy that bad boy when it comes out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've got... I've got we've got two VR systems that... We only use one to the blue moon. Mm. I'd love a VR headset. Mate. You know what I mean? You've um, got a PS4, haven't you? Me? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Great on a PS4, mate. Well, yeah, I've, no. I've tried one on a PS4 and it's very good. I've tried an Oculus Rift. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, PlayStation 4 is pretty fucking good, like. Yeah. I've, got the, I've got the Oculus. Pretty good, I've got you? the Oculus too. Yeah. That's what I was like. They're, the they're, they're amazing, like. They are. They're absolutely, absolutely outstanding. Can, can I, would you like, mind if I had Oculus at one point? Um, yeah, yeah. Say, say no if it would be. No, no. I just, yeah, yeah. Like, would mind having a go, like, a proper go with it. Uh, oh, my thing. Loads of fun, man. Oh. Um, Loads of fun. But yeah, so um, they were planning a like a motion capture game with the characters from the film. Mm. So it was like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, it was just taking too long, so the game was abandoned. Mm. So it wasn't going to be made in time to coincide with the film. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. All the actors had done obviously motion capture and stuff like that. Mm. Um, there's loads and loads of um, arcade games appear in the film. Oh, that's so great. So if you spot them, you know yeah. you can spot a lot of. Oh, that's cool. You know like that. I mean? um, Alyssa Milano and Scott Wolf got engaged. Right. When they were making the film, they started dating and got engaged, but the relationship didn't last much longer. They never do, really, do they? A lot of them meet on yeah. these films. Yeah. And they have a bond. And they have a connection, mm. and then... I've met girls like that. Yeah, we, all, yeah. we all have. I've met girls like that. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I've mistook a platonic relationship from something else, and then gone, nah, you know, all right. Yeah, that's it. Was this <laughs> when you gave me a lift back the other day, Daz? Well, you know, <laughs> look, more for, for I said we wouldn't talk, talk about, about, about that, it, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah. especially on air. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, when you, There's a bit where one of the gangs look up... Um, Jimmy and um, the the two Lees, anyways, and the names are James Stewart Lee mm-hmm. and William Burroughs Lee, oh, right. <laughs> and it is a, a, supposed a to be a, to, a nod uh, to um, uh, William J- S. Burroughs and, and James Stewart, James Stewart. yeah, uh-huh. which is um, strange quite link, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and in one su- scene, um, Kogashuku asks his henchman. Um, Huey and Lewis, any news? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I've got to give um, Robert Patrick his, his chew in the scenery. Yeah. And it'll, Patrick, have been yeah. A, it'll have been a. Again, you know what I mean? For the two, the, the younger actors, they were seeing this as a br- good break for them. Yeah. They'd have just been seeing it as a, you know, a bit yeah. of money. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've got Linda in there as well. Look, do you know the whip whip classes from the game? Can you remember the girls? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, well, there's one of those in there yeah. with different villains where you can spot from the game. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's hard to adapt to a game like that. Yeah, and, and it's, know, do you know what I mean? It's it's, a, it's it's like it's like adapting Space Invaders yeah. into a film. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Double Dragon doesn't work as a a tournament game. No, no. You know what I mean? Because it's no. not a tournament no, thing. It's, just it's just you know what I mean? It'd have been better if they'd had to. You know, she was captured, and they'd had to get into this mm. post-apocalyptic place, which was. And the, the the walk went through and <laughs> battling and that kind of thing. But it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that. But <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, there's, a, there's, it. there's like a car, yeah. there's like a car um, thing where they're running in the cars and they come through the city and all that in the cars. And it's like Death Race Two Thousand. Right. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It's it just a good. It's, well, it's a very very violent game. Yeah, and it's mm. campy fun. And I've got it on Blu-ray, man. Um, and you pick it up cheap on Blu-ray as well. If, if, you, if, if you won't, yeah, it's free on Prime. I'm just saying. Is it, yeah. It's on Prime. It's on is Prime. It? I've looked. There you go. Yeah. I am going to watch it. It's it's, 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 <laughs> to watch it. it's it's good. If you haven't seen it, Double Dragon, even though it's one of the worst ones because it didn't make its money back and stuff like that. It's good. It's like Street Fighter's good campy fun. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Good campy fun. Yeah. Whereas Alone in the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, <laughs> poor faced, poor faced, horrible, poor faced, just taking itself too serious. Yeah, yeah. where these don't, so you can kind of enjoy them a bit the more. The thing is, though, yeah. Alone in the Dark didn't really have a good basis to start with. No. <laughs> yeah. well, let's it was fun from the start. We're going to get to one of Woff's next, which, yeah. let's be honest, um, so, I think we might have a slightly different angle on that one. Right, well, <laughs> okay. so um, there we go. I'll just pass it on to Woff. Um, and that was good crack there. Yeah. There we go. Pass on to Wolf. Cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay. Well, my next one, uh, and this, I think this is the newest one. It is the newest one that we're doing today. Um, and it's it's a one of a game that I loved. Um, this the first the first three. I think the first four. I play. I complete them all. Loved them, um, especially two onwards. Um, and uh, they decided to make a film, which I was really excited about. I was mega excited about it, and just fucked it up. Uh, and it's um, from 2016, and it's Assassin's Creed, mm. um, which was directed by Justin Kurzel. Now, uh, he actually was a, a very strange, like, choice for director for this because I'd seen his one of his previous films, Snowtown Murders. I don't know if either you've seen that. No, but you know what? I've got it on DVD. It's, it's someone gave it to me. It's very dark, apparently. It's, it's, it's very a, dark. It's a true. It's an Australian. Yeah, true Australian. Story. I was going to say it was Australian. Yeah. True story about the serial killer that killed people and put them in barrels. Um, and it's dark as fuck. It's got like um, it's one of the first roles of that. What's that guy? Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Ben, Men, not Ben Mendelsohn, is it? The Oscar? Is he? All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ben Mendelsohn, yeah. Uh, good actor, Ben Mendelsohn. He's great. He's yeah. fucking really good. And it's, it's, it's in Star Wars. He's in. Yeah, well, yeah, he's in Rogue yeah, that's, One. That's one. He's in. He's in Start Up. Uh, MCU as well. He's in. He's one of the. He's in uh, uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ready Player One. Yes, yeah, yeah, good bad guy, good bad yeah, guy. Yeah. And I, uh, yeah. So he, uh, yeah, and he did a, a one recently called Nitram, which again is a true st- based on a true story about this kid that killed a bunch of people. Uh, and he did Macbeth, uh, the recent version of Macbeth, which again was a really dark version of Macbeth. Right. So he does really, really intense, dark, arty films. And he was the one, because they signed um, Michael Fassbender to play the main character in it yeah. and he'd just done Macbeth with him so he said well, let's get Justin Kurzel on the on the okay. squad and uh, right, yeah. and I think that was a mistake here because he's I think he's a good director but he's a really fucking bad choice for this this I mean the game's it's kind of serious but it's also not it's a bit it's it's silly it's it's, it's time like, travel nonsense yeah it's kind of kind of time travel it's a certain version of time travel yeah um and it just it just didn't didn't work but um but you've got as I say you've got Michael Fassbender I the main like one. Michael Fassbender's brilliant. Yeah. I love Michael Fassbender. Eden Lake. Yeah, Eden Lake's brilliant. Eden Lake, which you've still not seen. It's one film you should watch. Yeah, yeah you, I you'd like it. You really would like it. Yeah, you, I mean, I've started Eden watching Lake. it. Eden yeah. Lake's dark. And as something's fuck. happened, and I had to mm. knock it off. 
Right, yeah. But yeah. I've just... Yeah, it's just... Dark as I think, fuck, I think you'd really like that. Great I probably film, would, because yeah. I do Great like film. stuff like that. So yeah, you yeah, would but, like um, it. You would enjoy yeah. it. But yeah, um, I do. I don't mind a bit of fast bender, but it's made some shite as well as some decent stuff. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose Bill everyone uh, he's done... Uh, well, he, did, uh, he was good in X-Men. I thought he was good as Magneto. Yeah. Great as Magneto, yeah. but some of the films let him down. Uh, oh yeah, the last as it, as it went on, it just, it just kind of... Just yeah, the last two he was in, that they shouldn't, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? After Days of Future Past, which yeah. was a, a great film. I love yeah. that film. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. Oh, it yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, never, I, I think I watched Apocalypse once. Yeah. Um, and what was the other one that came in between them? The, no, there was one that came after. First Class. Oh yeah. First class. Yeah, there's was a future past. Yeah, first apocalypse. Class. Yeah, then first the last class was one, which right. was the Dark Phoenix story. Yeah, well, I, I never watched Dark. That's Phoenix. the one I never saw actually. Yeah. I saw the first three. I didn't watch that one. I just yeah. Didn't. Oh. yeah, I think we knew it was finished because um, Disney had already bought Fox out by that point. New Mutants like, this... wasn't a bad watch. I heard that, actually, I never watched that either. But I again, enjoyed that. Great get, cast. But that was a Fox one that was made and then released under Disney, kind of. Yeah. Let's just get that out there, see if we can get a few quid for it, kind of thing. Yeah, it, was, that, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, I, I did hear it was going to be alright, actually. I, sh I should give it a watch, really. Um, and you've got uh, Marion Cotillard. 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 Uh, Cotillard. Um, Cotillard. Cool tart. That's what I wanted to say, but I was like, no, it's not that. Well, that's Cumbrian, isn't it? Cool <laughs> No, Marion Cotillard. Oh, yeah. Cotillard. And she's, uh, you'll know her from like Inception and The Dark Knight Rises and stuff like that. Alright. Yeah, she plays fucking. Oh, oh, it's, a, it's a horrible character. Oh, Dark right. Knight Rises is a terrible film. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, didn't, it didn't finish the trilogy off. You've got uh, Jeremy Irons, who obviously did loads of Dead Ringers, Lion King, French yeah. Lieutenant's Woman, that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Bren Brendan Gleeson, who I love. love. Him. In Bruges, yeah. the yeah. guard, etc., etc. Oh, I mean the cast itself. Yeah. Charlotte Rampling. That's later. what I was going to next. Yeah. Zardos. Ke <laughs> yeah. Zardos. 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 Yeah. Zardos. I just watched recently. She, she was a good-looking woman in there. She's still a good-looking woman, but she was a good-looking woman in youth, like Charlotte Rampling. I mean, the the cast in it is fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's. So like a lot of these films, though. Well, apart from Double Dragon. Yeah. Because there was a lot of no well, really. they're, they're, they're all famous. Yeah, yeah, in their own right. You know, Scott Wolf was in Go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and Party of Five was his big thing. Yeah, but he, he, he was he was never a an no, A-list then. No, no, he was never an A-list. He tried. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, he, was in, he was in a few films. But yeah, he wasn't an A-lister. Yeah. Robert Patrick was about the. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Mark Dacascos yeah. has went on to have a cracking career yeah. in martial arts yeah. films. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, but, yeah, but oh, yes, not but no heavy hitters, really. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Certainly not at the time. But but the rest of the films have. Yeah, yeah. but they're all known. You you know yeah. all the actors. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, Lisa oh, yeah. Milano. You, oh shit, yeah. Lisa Milano. You know, of course. you know what I mean. It's one of those. Yeah. And, and uh, you've got Callum Turner, uh, who's in Green Room, Fantastic Beasts and stuff. I love so, Green Room. Yeah, great film. Um, so yeah, great cast. Uh, so basically, the storyline is, is is roughly based on the games, but like the thing with the what ca apparently um, is it, it's Ubisoft, isn't it? Just, uh, yeah, yeah. They um, uh, Ubisoft Montreal. All oh, right. Okay, Ubisoft Montreal are uh, 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 like it basically said that when they do films now, they don't want it to actually be characters from the games. They want to do a new storyline that's not connected. So, like his character, like each, if you played, have you played this? I've, I've played. I've, 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 got, never admit, really, I've never played the game. I've, I've never really seen, got into them, but I have played. I mean? I've played parts of games. Yeah, I enjoyed the combat. It's uh, yeah, it's it, the great fun. Like I mean, yeah. I mean, the ma the main concept is you can just kind of climb up si up walls and just jump about stuff. It's like you you like Park a slide line, almost. It's free it's, running, yeah, free running. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is cool. Like, it is cool. The, the best ones are the, the ones which they should have done, which was um, Ezio Auditori, and uh, which was two, three. Uh, well, no, it's two, and then two spin-offs from two, um, which was the Italian one, uh, and th th those were brilliant. They should have just done that, but they the, the created a brand new one uh, for this um, because all the other games had different ones. The third one had a uh, Native American one. The first one was like some. My my mates swear by um, Valhalla. Oh, Assassin's I... Creed Valhalla. They all swear uh, by it. They say it's the best one. I started playing it. Right. And something put me off at the start, and I don't know if I should say it because it makes me sound like a like a gammon or something I don't know don't but say it, it then it's uh, it's it's just it, right I'm going to say it oh 
It's uh, the, the, the reverse psychology. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I mean, just, just, just because I don't see that uh, the very thir first thing when you start playing that game is it said, it says this game is made by people of of many different sexes, sexual orientations, uh, religions. So from the, so we are blah, in, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, and 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 like that's fine, that's great, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. But why is that the first thing you see in the game? I just as soon as I saw that, I was like, well. Why did, I don't and that care. threw the whole game off for you. Well, it, I didn't really enjoy it after that, to be fair. But like it, <laughs> but it did. It did. It did. It, it just it was a little niggle. It was a little niggle because I was just kind of like I was just kind of like I, I have no problem with any of that. But I don't see why you need to it, tell me yeah, that at yeah, the start yeah. of the game. That's fuck all to do with the game. It's a given. But, yeah. It's a given, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's it. I want. I want. I want diversity. I want. I want games to be made by men, women, gay people, straight people, black people, white people. But I don't need it to be said at the start. What are you trying to say? So yeah, but yeah, after that little rant. Um, <laughs> uh, the, so the plot's basically it kind of follows similarly to um, the games, which is there's a new tech called the Animus, uh, which uh, Callum Lynch, Michael Fassbender's character, um, uh, goes into. Um, so this is like a modern day machine, which which looks into your um, DNA, and you're able to go back in time <laughs> to. Uh, ancestors from the past and relive retraces their... your an ancestral yeah. DNA. That's it. Yeah, uh, better put than I did. And <laughs> and, uh, and uh, so he he does that and he goes back to uh, Spain in the 15th century and uh, into his distant relative, which is Aguilar de Nerja. Um, <laughs> and uh, basically, the whole, the whole all the Assassin's games are based on the principle that there's two different warring factions going back over the centuries, which is the Assassins, which is the always seen as the good guys in the game, and then there's the Templars, which are the bad guys in the game. Uh, and it's all like kind of ancient, like kind of Christian mythology and Cath Catholic m mythology and stuff uh, tied in with it. It's good. The game's int really interesting if you deep dive into it because it's got it's based on certain amounts of truth and it feeds into the Illuminati and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, uh, he discovers he's part of the Assassins, uh, a secret society designed to stop the Templar organization from getting the Apple of Eden, um, which is the, the, the Eden from uh, the Garden of Eden, um, and it controls free will. Um, so that, that both of them are basically trying to get it, uh, and that's the basic plot, um, and they just kind of fuck it up, because apart from, it's visually Visually, I think it's really well made, but visually, it's there's part of it which yeah. are really because obviously I've just watched it mm. again. Yeah, you've watched it more recently for the first time. Actually, yeah. um, Assassin's Creed was a first time watch for mm. us, and it was just tonally yeah. all over the place. Yeah, yeah, the I agree story was basic. Bad guys want to take over the world. Yeah. Got to be stopped by the good guys. As basic as they come. But I think I'm not th I, that's one thing. I think it's it trying, it it trying to be make it more grey. Uh, I think that they, they were trying not to make the Templars as the pure bad guys and the Assassins as the pure good guys, which the game does. Well, they wanted thought, to, the, the film they wanted to completely wipe out the Assassins. Oh yeah, yeah. And control the world. Yeah. And yeah. they said they tried it and it went failed with. But they wanted to give people free will, didn't they? <laughs> no, they wanted to take free will away. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> they wanted to take free yeah. will away. Yeah. Um, and they said they tried it with religion. Yeah. Um, war. Yeah. Consumerism. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, That's television. Now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? They said they tried all these ways to control. Yeah. And now it was time. Everything you know, people still the, had the original Apple. Go with the yeah, yeah. So it, it was just a bit. It's kind trying of, to be too deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was, yeah. and the whole. It just too. They should have just stuck with either keep with the modern day setting, and is an assassin to start with. Well, this I or think... go with the Spanish setting. Yeah, the, the, the going between the two, the way they done it. Unlike Highlander, that done it beautifully well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They flawless. just it was too. <laughs> yeah. This, this is actually I forgot about that. But this, this is the thing that annoyed me about it the most. In the games, eighty percent of it is uh, set in the the, uh, the 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 
yeah. went back in time to the Animus. It's uh, hardly any any of it is is it. You're walking around, walking around, yeah. finding a chamber or something, aren't you? Yeah, yeah in the games, yeah, you yeah. in very little. And the and one bit is yeah, it's just you kind of uncover yeah. a bit here, and then it goes to the real cool bit, which yeah. is the the stuff set in history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the in the film, they reversed it, and it was more set in modern times, oh. which uh, which I thought was. Uh, what so he, did he have the abilities of the assassin then in in real yeah, time? Kinda comes I've never seen it. Yeah, well, he it. does. He basically when he goes into the, the with the machines, the animus, the animus, whatever. Yeah. Um, it unlocks, he, unlocks, it unlocks it unlocks like it does the, in the game. Yeah, yeah, right. It, unlo yeah, it unlocks the abilities yeah, yeah, yeah. of the assassin yeah, yeah, in yeah, him. Yeah. So when he comes back. <laughs> and I'm then sure it, that and then it turns out that yeah, wrist, wrist yeah. knife I used to have one of them. I bought one. Was it? No London. way, man! It was amazing. And it was, I love and, that game. And when he, <laughs> um, and wh where he's living, they're all fucking Assassin Creed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's fucking terrible. It's, it's, I, 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 I don't like it. I, I, being a big fan of the games, I think they fucked it up. Um, big but, time fucked it up. But I, I, I think it's got, I, I do think it's got, it's got bits of it that, that were good, I think, and that's like that's that's what I was saying before. I think we might, Aye. but when, I'd, I'd rather rewatch Assassin's Creed than I'd ra rather rewatch Street Fighter. But I'd rather rewatch neither of them. Yes, <laughs> it's kind of yeah. where I sit. Um, well, don't watch Alone in the Dark. Yeah, you, well, Ever. yeah. I mean, well, I have seen it, but I, I, I remember having the same feeling when I came out of it. Yeah. Just the, the fuck that came up, and it's got such a good cast. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's yeah, it's. It was it was a real miss, and I'd love them to do a really good version of the game because the game is so fucking good, and it's got such a rich story that you could do something really yeah, fucking good with I it. Yeah, I agree. You really could. Um, so yeah, no, I, th I think actually, yeah, we're, we're not too far off, and we both think it's shit. <laughs> yeah, but, like uh, but in different ways. I've, I've um, heard it's shit, so I never really yeah, bothered. Yeah, no, they, they fucked it up. Probably, probably fucked it up. Um, is it available anywhere? Uh, yeah, it's on no, Amazon. Is it on it's Amazon? Amazon. See, on Amazon, yeah, I was like, oh shit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Uh, <laughs> They'll shut us down for yeah. that. <laughs> no, we are on Amazon as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's one of our. We are, yeah, on yeah, Amazon. We are on Amazon podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, we're on Buzz Sprout. That's our main home. Yeah. Buzz Sprout. Right. Um, so, yeah, a bit, uh, a bit of trivia. Um, the film features the highest free fall performance by a stuntman in almost 35 years. Um, Damien Walters performed a free fall from the height of uh, 38 meters or 125 feet, which lasted almost three seconds with a 61 per mile per hour impact, uh, speed impact. Jeez. Oh, That's I can remember seeing um, that on a, a YouTube thing not so long back. Right. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. that like when they, when they do the dive off like one of the towers into the hay bales? It's the eagle, the eagle dive, I think you call right, it. Yeah, you, yeah. Kinda, you see the eagle, and then you go like yeah, that, yeah. and you dive off the top. Yeah, then yeah. you're supposed to flip at the last minute, so you land on your back. Yeah. No, no, but there's there's like there's, there's like, like um like a, a haystack or something, a haystack or yeah. like a cart with loads of hay in it that you land in and you are hiding yeah. it. I, well, no, this was because um, I've seen it. it it's a big yeah. mat. It's a big the, the inflatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be, but they'll make it look like. Like, they're gonna make it look like, yeah, whatever. I know, they did that, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 that was one of the, the few nods. I mean, the, the guy, I mean, the guy, the, the director's not the right guy for this. He, he wanted to do something else, so they, they just t they said, let's do something clever. Let's get this kind of, like, edgy, edgy indie yeah. director to do this film. And it's like, well, it's not an edgy film. It's like, it's like, just do it. Big right. budget. Yeah, do it. Blockbuster. Do, yeah, yeah. It's about, it. it's about it's stealth killing and yeah. fucking parkour. Really, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's what you want to see. Stealth killing, like, parkour, climbing you know up I mean? walls and fucking killing people. When you're playing the game, you, you want you want to yeah. get the least attention possible, don't that's you? You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out ninja style. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's how I play Far Cry. Have you played them games yet? Have you played Far Cry Five yet? Yeah, I started playing it. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Play more. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, br br uh, Bre Brendan Gleeson. Ah, Gleeson. Yeah. Um, okay. Joseph Lynch is played uh, in. in uh, uh, oh yeah, his, his younger version of him is played by his son Brian Gleeson. Huh? Right, so. Not uh, Donald Gleeson. He's the one that's. Is, it, is that how you pronounce his name? He's, 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 he's Harry Potter. 
Uh, yeah, Harry Potter yeah, and yeah, and all sorts of Peter Rabbit. Yeah, about time. Yeah, yeah. Peter Rabbit. Yeah, oh, Peter, Peter Rabbit. Rabbit yeah. Yeah. yeah, I watched both of them the other week actually. They were quite fun actually. <laughs> I enjoyed them. I really like them. Yeah, they're quite good fun. fun. Uh, yeah. Apart from James Corden. Yeah, I can't stand James Corden. <laughs> I just like him. I uh, Gavin and Stacey times, he's like him, but no, oh, I like Gavin and Stacey. I love that. I don't know why. Yeah. She's never connected with me. Well, it's because you're not Welsh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, director Justin Kersel didn't want to show assassins as heroes, and oh, this is what I was saying before, uh, and, and Templars as villains, or the opposite, because both ideologies can't be clearly called right or wrong, and both of them can be corrupted. Uh, they can go to extremes. Anarchy for assassins and control for Templars. Uh, and, oh, but you just see it as... I mean, good, re- good versus evil. In the games, there's no question. The assassins are the good guys. You can't. Yeah. It is that in the film as well. It yeah. doesn't. It's yeah. It's very thinly. You know. Yeah. I, mean? I suppose you. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You don't. You, you've got to root for Michael Fassbender in the end of the day. Yeah. But, um, uh, in the Assassin's Creed video game series, present-day character Desmond has a scar on the right side of his lip. The same scar can be seen on the assassins from uh, the first Assassin's Creed, Altair, as well as the assassin from Assassin's Creed 2, and blah blah blah, loads of other ones. Right. Um, coincidentally, Michael Fassbender also has a similar scar on the same side of his upper lip. Not Maybe that's why they cast him. Maybe, <laughs> so, um, when the Animus is shown for the first time, you can see the Animus 2.0, used in Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood in the background with a cow's shoulder, so a little uh, easter egg. Well oh, mod. Yeah, that's it. I like it. I like stuff like that. I never noticed that when I watched it, but I don't know if I'll watch it again just for that. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it'll be near the start. Here's, here's a little um, connection to our last podcast um, and one of my other choices of my favourite video games of all time, video game movies of all time, um, Alicia Vikander was considered for the role of Maria before Ariane Labed was cast. Uh, Vikander dropped out as she chose to do Jason Bourne instead, largely due to fan factor. According to her, the role of Maria was one of the three roles offered at the same time, besides Heather in Bourne and the lead role of May Holland in the circle. Alicia would go on to play another video game character, Lara Croft in Tomb Raider in 2016. Uh, of course. Uh, 2018. And yeah, that's uh, that's it. It's on Prime if you want to give it a go, but it's it's not very good. Just wait, wait till they do it right. <laughs> yeah, if ever. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So and over to Dazzle. Over to no, over to DJ Dazzy Johnson. Yeah, man. This was my DJ name. I come from on the way here. Oh, right. <laughs> Great, isn't it? I'm, I'm having it. Yeah. Right. Um, so um, mine is from 2008, directed by John Moore. Now, like the game, Max Payne. Uh, see? Rhymed that. <laughs> yeah, see, DJ. I did it. I did it. No, no, I did it. skills. <laughs> Dream if you want to go faster. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, you got Mark Wahlberg as uh, Max Payne. Mila Marky Kuhn, Mark. Marky Mark. Come on, come on. Come on. Funky bunch. <laughs> Good, Mila Good Ki- vibrations. <laughs> Mila Kunis as Mona Sachs. Bobo Bridges as B.B. Hensley. And I can't help think they called him B.B. Is B.B. in the game? Yeah. Aye. Was it? I think so. It's been a while. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'll get to that. Ludacris, who I like. I like oh, Ludacris. Ludacris. As um, Jim Bravara, Bravura. Chris O'Donnell's in there as Robin. Uh, what happened to him? He was big for a while. He was, was Robin, eh? Yeah. He was Robin. And Center, Center of the Woman. woman. Yeah. Cracking film. Yeah, great film. Um, Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! <laughs> 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 um, Donald Logue as Alec Baldwin, Baldwin. One of my favourites. He's, he's, he's in, he never gets a lead role, but he's always a side part. Yeah, he's one of my favourite character actors, Donald Logue. Yeah. 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 Um, Blade. Yeah, Blade, he's great in Blade. Great, great in Blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotham. Yeah. Um, he was in... He's good at playing that dirty cop. Yeah, he, he, he's been... Oh, is he the partner in Gotham? The, like... Yeah, G- James Gordon's partner. Yes, all oh, right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I was about to look him up there. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's been in loads. He's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. in a great um, Grounded for Life. Was a sitcom, which was on three a few seasons, which was great. I used to watch it when it was on from Fox Kids and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they used to put the, the, yeah. the, the, the so sitcom. Is there a sitcom, huh? Aye, it was great. Laugh, oh. great, great. Hmm. And he was the dad. I yeah, see that. Yeah, I, see that. I think you'll, you'll find it places. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Yeah, it's never it's heard of that. Grounded for life, great, funny. Right, right. I think you can find it on Disney, to be honest. Right, right, yeah. Oh, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, 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 I think it was Fox, so with Disney, yeah. yeah. Cool. You've got Amaru, I, I can't say his name, Amaruri Nolasco as Lupino. And I've I've seen his face, and I'm sure he's in like Fast and Furious and stuff like uh, that. Uh, he's just got that, you know. He's a um, Latino sort of dude, uh, quite big, muscly. The thing dude, is uh, with this again, it's got nothing really you know to do with the game. You, you we, we we chatted about this on um, WhatsApp yeah, group, and you said it's not a bad film, and I said no, it's not a bad film. Special effects are amazing. Yeah. Um, it's got some good slow mo action sleep. It's, it's a proper noir out. film. Yeah. It's, you know, it's yeah. got some... If it wasn't called Max Payne, if it was called something different, it'd be it would have been, yeah. been a lot... It would have got yeah. higher marks, uh, yeah, like, yeah. overall. Because it's not a bad story. It's a bit... Mila Kunis is good. Mila Kunis is, is great. Good, you know, because she... she she is Ukrainian, isn't she? So not, she can do the whole... Yeah, yeah. She's uh, not very so comfortable she was with the gun. But, she's not... I, I, I thought she looked a bit shit um, with the gun. Right, right. But... but it's as I said. It's fucking nothing like. No. Well, I'll give you. I'll give you a quick rundown of the game, yeah, yeah. and then we'll dis we'll go into this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, uh, Max Payne is a former DEA detective, um, but he got himself reassigned to the cold case unit so he could in further investigate the murder of his wife and his child because um, he knows there's something that's been overlooked, and you know what I mean. They've all swept it under the carpet, whatever. Right? Yeah. Um, Mona Sachs is Mila Kunis's um, character. And She's like sister. an assassin. Yeah, yeah, and her sister also gets uh, gets murdered. Um, Oriola, and Max, Oriola Payne, Max, Max Payne sort of gets fingered in it. Look at old Max. Oh, Max. Uh, all the Korean She's in Hitman as well. All right, yeah, yeah. Her, she plays the sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bang mm -hmm. tidy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, Max being a loner of a cop nowadays, you know, um, this this is this gets me, but I'll get to that. <laughs> um, he gets a bit of help from Mona, and he gets a bit of help from um, BB. Yeah, um, Bo Bridges, <laughs> convenient. <laughs> fucking convenient. The lesser the lesser Bridges brother, I say. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know, Lloyd's the Lloyd's the, the dude though. Oh, Lloyd Dad. Bridges, Dad. Lloyd, 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 Dad. brilliant airplane. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> think I picked the wrong the wrong time to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking genius. So um, yeah. yeah, so it's about Max's journey about um, uncovering truths and strange to find drugs and stuff yeah. like that, and that makes angels see demons. and demons and um, which they all look fantastic on screen. It's really well done, um, but there's fuck all of that in the game. Yeah. Um, and Max Payne, um, Mark, Mark Wolpert plays him immaculate and on the ball all the time. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, do, 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 do. Max Payne's not like that. He's a pill popping drinker. Yeah. You right, know what I mean? Yeah, He's yeah. on the fucking edge of. <laughs> it's like um, Chuck Steele, isn't he? He's man on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. And yeah, and that that really pissed me off. They missed the trick there. He should have been a fucking down and out. Yeah, yeah. fucking rough, and, rough and ready, fucking copper. Yeah, you know, rather than squeaky, fucking clean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I think yeah. they missed a the fucking trick. Yeah. Um, the big thing about the game is all the slow motion shooting and stuff like that. Yeah. There was maybe three scenes maybe of the shooting. Yeah, there was lots of like. Lovely snow effects yeah. and shit like that. That all looked mm. oh, great, yeah. and that was a good hack to the games. But the the, the important element was lost. Yeah, yeah. With, with Max being fucking a down I and mean, out, basically, mm. and a drunk and yeah. a pill popper, and that was all lost. And yeah. that, that pissed me off. Back in two thousand and one ish, two thousand and two, I can't remember when. Um, we were in Manchester recording our second album. Cool. And Max Payne was on the game of the, the PC, yeah. And we had the PC with us, obviously, because it had all the the stuff that, that the lads had written. So when I wasn't, because I wasn't needed much, yeah. yeah. And um, I only got really pissed up on the Jack Daniels when I was needed, so I could sing. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'd sit 
playing Max Payne on the PC. Yeah. Um, and it was excellent, but yeah, the film's nothing like it. No. And um, the yeah, album but... never got released because the <laughs> record label um, went bankrupt. Oh. Yeah. Um, so we got it demoed, and Paul Fisher hid away in the toilet when he didn't like the production on one of his songs and it kind of wasn't happy at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been an anniversary of us playing um, some gigs lately on Facebook. Oh, I've nice. been tagged in. Right, right. Um, what was I tagged in? It was, um, I think it was the Astoria gig and some stuff when we played Whip Pavilion for Whip Goth weekend. Nice, nice. Oh, so nice. it was, which was quite, which was like twenty two years ago, twenty three years ago now. Right, twenty two right. years ago, sorry. Jeez. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Got to be old. So yeah, um, <laughs> and that were, Max Payne was the the game, and some old Spectrum games which he'd put on Manic Mine. I think was another. I mean, for me, mm-hmm. Max Payne Three was the game. Right, I didn't play any. Max Payne Three Max is an Payne. epic game. It's fucking massive. But anyways, I'll go back to you. That was my little story. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, man. that was just my little story <laughs> about Max Payne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, Max Payne yeah. Three for me was the game that, like, oh my god, such a game. Slow motion gunning. I it's can't remember whether I've played any, to be honest. I'm trying to rack my brain. I don't think I did. <laughs> well, I, you've got an Xbox, haven't you? Uh, well, I did. But, but back then, what I mean, what. 360. Uh, I had a 360, yeah, yeah. Did I have Max Payne on the 360? I've got it. I've got it on 360. Because it. Oh, it might be copied. Yeah. Mine's, mine's fingered. Fingered. I'm getting fingered in quite a lot tonight. <laughs> yeah, mine's been fingered, so it What's, plays which, copies. Which was the what? I'm th- I think it's still Alan Wake, where like it starts know. off in a hospital and the, the whole fucking like city starts to break up, and you're driving away in a van, and everything's just you just like it's like in. Is that not Evil Within? No, no, no. Um, oh, I do love Evil Within. I'm just not that again. No, no, it's not Evil Within, but yeah, that's a fantastic game. Yeah, second one, shit. But yeah, agree. But I digress. Sorry. Yeah, anyway, all right, well, anyway, I'll give you some um, shite on um, Max Payne. So, all in all, not a bad film. It is available on Disney. Um, worth watching, if you like noir thrillers with a bit of, you know, super cool special effects thrown in, some, you know, three bits of slow motion gunning, <laughs> lovely snow. I like some fr- uh, slow yeah. motion gunning. <laughs> lovely snow. Angels. Angels, <laughs> demons. Um, them bits are great. Yeah, yeah. Just not, not in the game. Not in the game, yeah. No. Anyway, I'll give you some trivia on it. The game designers at 3D Realms were apparently unimpressed by the motion picture adaptation. No fucking shit. Yeah. I'll, I'll be yeah. exactly the same. Uh, um, James McCaffrey, um, the voice of Max Payne in the video game, makes a cameo as an FBI agent. Yeah, that's right. So I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, there is an extra scene. There's a um, post-credit scene, no. um, and I did watch it today. Not much right. happens, right. but it basically sets up for a sequel. Yeah, but um, obviously it didn't do too well. The film. Yeah. Um, in the film, Valkyries are shown as male, but in Norse mythology, we all know the female. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're also referred to as Odin girls. Right. In. in in North, North Smith North mythology, Smith mythology yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mark Wahlberg reportedly never played the video game as he didn't want to become addicted and felt the script script connected him to the story enough <laughs> we got what a cop from Brooklyn I reckon yeah. I can do that yeah. <laughs> Mark you fucking Mark <laughs> um, despite the games being based around slow motion or bullet time there were only three slow motion shootings like mm. PD said earlier on um, voted online as one of the worst movies ever made. Really? Which I think is a bit harsh. Um, and the main villain in the game, Nicholas Horn, or Nick Horn, Nick, Nicole Horn, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Female. <laughs> only, only plays a little minor role in the film. Yeah, and she's played by Margot from. Um, Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
When you say Margot, I yeah, just think yeah. of Good Life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg and Mina Kuna also starred in Date Night and in Ted. Yeah, together, I. Yeah. No, she wasn't in Ted 2. No, she was in the first one. Yeah, because she couldn't do the second one for some reason. No, they got that other bit in, didn't they? Yeah. I am him. Oh, she's got she's Amanda got minge, she's yeah, got minge yeah. on her foot, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, I like Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> yeah, I like her just because she's got minge tattoos yeah, on her foot. Yeah, uh, she's, she's she just likes you. the word. Yeah, yeah, and she knows what it means in English. Yeah. Excellent. That just shows that she's got a, a <laughs> sense of humour. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, I think that's about me done. On a, you know, yeah. There we go then. So there we go. Some of the worst um, computer video game adaptations, um, and some of them are shit, and some of this just can't be fun. Yeah. Um, as we found, um, so or just shit as well. Thank you all, <laughs> thank you all for listening um, to our bargain bin Woolworths jobbies and um, jobbies. Jobbies. And <laughs> we'll speak to you next week, whenever that may be. And um, I've been PD. He's been Woff. That's been Daz. See ya. Thank you all for listening. And um, it's been the Carlisle Cult Cinema Cast. It's game over, man. Good night. God bless.